Hey guys, welcome to another New World video. In today's video, I want to talk about the dev blog today, where the devs answered those questions they asked us to submit a few weeks ago. This one is pretty juicy, and although they went over this stuff fairly quickly, so you might have missed some things, I do believe there is some things in there that will have huge impacts on players moving forward. So I think it will be important for us to have a little bit of a closer look at some of them. So to begin, they opened up talking about the regular stuff, bots, how they engage on the forums, Reddit, and read all of your feedback. Basically the regular lip service you can expect from just about any dev video for any game ever. Are they being completely honest here? I think so, so please don't misunderstand. I know there are still bots in the game, I've seen them. But let's be fair, there are nowhere near the amount of bots in the game that there were 4 months ago or even 6 months ago. In those days, it would be nothing to see 25 bots in one spot on the shore fishing, or 10 to 15 bots in Windsward cutting trees. That just is not the case anymore. Then of course they moved on to the next topic, and one they answered very quickly and moved on from a little bit too quickly, but I feel might have the biggest impact on the game right now, both in terms of play and in terms of affecting players economically. And of course I am talking about the changes to the armor coming to the PTR. They briefly discussed how the meta widely shifts in the game, from heavy to light, and they felt that light wasn't acting how they had planned for it to. They do want players wearing light to do a ton of damage, however they feel players in light feel way too safe. There's no balance or diversity, so they're making some changes on the upcoming PTR and these changes may have massive consequences. Let's take a look quickly at what they say. Dev team make further rollback changes to armor type, uh, light, medium, heavy. Are they looking at the feedback from previous changes? Uh, yeah, so I think equip load in our game and the balance between equip load is something that has, you know, evolved over time. If you remember, heavy meta was the thing, you know, at the start of the game. Obviously now we're in a totally light meta era. Uh, we are definitely aware of it. We are going to be making some changes and in fact they're coming very soon to a, a PTR near you. We're going to be making some changes uh, and the main gist of it is right now the idea is that light armor needs to be strong, like do a lot of damage. But the thing is, you can be in light armor, do all that damage, and still feel relatively safe due to certain perks and things like that. Uh, so that's really what we're going to tackle. We're going to try to re try to make you have to take that risk. If you want the extra damage from light, uh, you're going to have to be able to take some risks. So some of those perks are now going to be based on the armor of the character. Uh, so things like Resilient or Shirking Fort will be less strong if you're wearing light armor. So as many of you know, currently BIS PvP gear is light, Shirking, Resil, Freedom, or a weapon perk. Well, with this change, for many classes, especially bruisers, light could very easily become not viable. With Rizil and Shirking being much less powerful on light versus, for example, heavy, you just won't get the benefit you once did, making you much, much weaker. The idea is, they want people to use armor for the role they play, not everyone in light. They want you to feel like if you're wearing light, you're a glass cannon, and like a chunky tank in heavy. So the consequence of this will be those pieces of gear that currently are costing 2 times gold cap may in only a few weeks be a little better than scrap. Because we all know when AGS suggests things, they have a tendency to do a little bit of overcorrecting. So my advice for those who are currently crafting, saving materials, or coin to buy gear, continue saving, but hold off till we see how this plays out on the PTR. Another big change, but one I know everyone is waiting for, is of course having team colors applied to the damage and healing AoE ground effects. They say this will be on the upcoming PTR also, so that's a huge bonus. They also wanted to address the concern the community had about the roadmap and the lack of features, especially PvP features. They said they only listed on the roadmap things that are ready or they can be 100% confident to being ready on the timeline. Although they do say they have a bunch of features, including many for PvP, that are not listed there but are in development and are coming. So that's kind of exciting and I think they potentially moved those off the back burner recently because of the community outcry. So who knows what cool features we will get in the coming months. They also address the musket, and that they are aware of the problems surrounding it in PvP and in PvE. So for PvP, one thing they mentioned that they plan to change in testing to make it a little less overpowered will be changing it so that in order to do a ton of player killing damage, you will have to commit to being stationary, making you a slightly easier target to be stopped. They also want to address mortal power. This of course will affect the bow users as well, but in order to address power with ranged weapons in PvP, they plan to nerf mortal power on ranged weapons to be much much less powerful than on melee. They talk a bunch in the video about stuff like this for example, they alternately plan to make the bane much more powerful on ranged weapons than it is on melee, as a way to address the viability of ranged in M10, or rather a lack thereof currently. They really wanted to drive home, in this video they seem to really want to drive home the idea that they know balancing things for PvE versus PvP has huge impacts on the other play mode. So their goal ultimately is to have them scale 
scaled differently in each play mode. They do say this will take a while though, and that it will likely be done using perks, which will ultimately just mean different gear and weapons for PvP versus PvE, making the perks associated with each not apply to the other. But it is good to know that it's a direction we are moving. Then they talked about portals, which I found very interesting. So the plan moving forward with portals will be a kind of rework, because they do like them, and to be honest, I also like the idea of them. So what they plan to do is make them a ton more rare, but when they do spawn, they will be a massive event with much better loot. Probably making them sort of play out the same way as the Halloween or Turkey or Winter World bosses. I would imagine that will be the framework for how portals will be moving forward, but we will see on the PTR. Then of course they closed out by talking about hippos, and that they have no immediate plans to add them. Well guys, overall a very good video. I personally found a few of their answers to be a little bit disingenuous, but who knows, maybe I'm allowing my frustration lately to get the better of me. What did you guys think? Have they gotten the message and are rolling into a wake up call number two, and they will get back to work like they did last year in the spring? Let me know in the comments. And remember, stop crafting PvP gear and PvP weapons, at least till we see what's going to go on with this rebalance on the PTR. You might end up really regretting it. And as always guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.